All right, so what is up guys? Welcome to the second part of this tutorial where we just finished creating the UI. Now we can actually move on to the code behind all of this and uh, yeah, let's just make the app finally work. So the first thing we want to do is go to our folder that contains the main activity and we are going to create a new class which is going to be an adapter class. So we're going to click on Kotlin file class and here we're going to call it drag drop uh, adapter and we're going to click on class here and we can actually close this for now and uh, let's continue from here. So the first thing we're going to do inside here is actually create a data set which is going to be called data set and it's going to be of a mutable list of type string and this is also going to extend drag drop swipe adapter which is going to take a string and a drag drop adapter dot view holder just type this in it's going to give you an error for now but that's absolutely fine and we're going to type in data sets at the end then we are going to implement the methods it wants us to implement click on all of them and click on OK and you're going to have all of this. But right before we continue with that stuff, we have to create a few other items. The first one's going to be a private var of list and that's going to take a mutable list, which I keep on spelling incorrectly, of type string and that's going to equal this dot data set as a mutable list of type string. And right under that, we can create an inner class of view holder, and it's going to take an item view of type view. And this is going to extend the drag drop swipe adapter dot view holder. And inside here, we will write item view. And then we're going to create two values. One's going to be value item text, and it's going to be of a type of text view, which is going to equal item view dot find view by ID is going to be r dot ID dot item text. And then we're going to do value drag icon, which is going to be an image view. And it's going to be item view dot find view by ID r dot ID dot drag icon. And finally, we're going to create an init. And inside here, we're going to create the item view dot set on click listener. And this is going to be for each item you tap on, you will get the position and it will tell you where you tapped and you can create a toast or you can add some functionality. It's all up to you what happens. So we're going to write value position, which is going to be of type int. It's going to be of adapter position. It's going to equal adapter position. And we're going to write a log, which is going to be log D. And the tag is going to be drag drop adapter. And don't forget to import that log statement. And inside here, we'll write list at position. So it will give you the correct item. And we are going to create the toast so people can tell what they clicked on. It's going to be item view dot context. And in here, it will take the data set at the position. And that's going to give the user some feedback on the item they click. It's going to get it and it's going to show them which item they clicked on the screen. All right, but immediately after that, we can go down to our overwritten methods. And for get view holder, we can actually just delete all of this. And we're gonna write equals view holder with item view inside. Then when we go to override function, get view to touch to start dragging item. Inside here, we want to return view holder dot drag item dot drag icon. And that's gonna be exactly where you touch on the screen to start the dragging. So it's essentially any image view you can insert there. As soon as the user touches on that, you can move the list up and down. And then we're gonna have on bind view holder. And here we're gonna insert some text. So let's go down here. It says not yet implemented. And we're gonna write view holder dot item text dot text equals data sets at the position. So essentially here on onbind view holder, we're gonna get the items or the list items we created and put it in our recycler view. And then right after that, we can create another method which is gonna be overwritten. It's called on drag finished. And essentially what I wanted to do here is write another log. So we're gonna, let's just copy and paste the one from earlier. We're gonna do log D for log D bug and put you inside here. It's gonna be called drag drop adapter I actually spelt it wrong. Drag, drop. Wow, I really spelt that bad. Adapter. 
And I guess we can just fix that real quick by putting it here. But what we're going to do here instead actually is replace whatever message there was earlier. And we're going to add the dollar symbol and we are going to write data set. So what this is going to log is once you finish the drag, you're going to see that item list is going to be changed. It's going to be in the new order you dragged it. So this is more of personal feedback to see where you drag the items and how it registered that you dragged the items. So that can be a place where you can probably add some code to save the order so that when they load the app next time, it will be in that order. But it's just good to have to know what you're doing and to see what's happening. Just add this log and you'll find out. And finally, we need to create a personal function, which is to add list items. It's going to be called function update item. And it's going to take an item as an argument. And inside here, we're going to write list.add at the index of zero, we are going to add an item. Now we're going to do, we're going to write notify item inserted at the position of zero. And finally, we can add a log, which is going to be log D. It's going to take this drag drop adapter. We should have created a constant at the top or somewhere, but it's okay for now. We will just continue copy and pasting. And we are going to log the list every time we add an item. And that's all we need to do for our drag drop adapter. And finally, after you have done all of this, we can go to our main activity.